following show contains adult content. It's not our intent to offend anyone, but we want to inform you that if you are a child under the age of 18 or get offended easily, this next show may not be for you. The content, opinions, and subject matter of these shows are solely the choice of your show hosts and their guests, and not those of the Entertainment Network or any affiliated stations. Any comments or inquiries should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for listening. Hey, ho, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, bringing you the good times in music, fashion, pop culture, and entertainment. We have a very good show for you guys today, but before we talk about that, let me introduce my cool, outrageous man about town co-host, Mr. Ron Russell. Hi. <coughs> As I choked to death on my show, I am so infected with this friggin' desert we live in. The rains came to Palm Springs. Everything in the desert is blooming. Everybody I know is suffering. From my children, my children, my daughters, to friends, to people in L.A., California is under attack from weeds or flowers or whatever. Plus, it's Forgive very me. windy. Windy. Say, I can't. I can't wait to get to Long Island where it's nice. You know, ocean breezes and soft Speak days. up a little bit. They say they can't hear you. Let me make they sure can't my... hear me. How's that? My big mouth, you can't hear. Let me make sure I got the Jesus volume up Christ, all the way. My voice must have really gone. All the way, so that's because my voice is gone from this allergy. It's for the birds, as you know. I've been suffering from it for weeks. You think I look nice today? I do. You know why? A little extra special, nice. We're going to Marcel Waltz, my dearest friend in the world, his new movie, and the red carpet. And this is what I'm wearing. It's a corduroy jacket over a forest green shirt. But wait, what is it? The pants. Oh, I have to put my leg up. Hang on. <laughs> that's not that's not good. There we go. Look at the pants that go with the shirt that go with the jacket. Okay. And my shoes are brown dock siders. So I kind of look like a college man. Professor who no. Uh, yeah, professor who thinks he's a teenager. How's that? A professor who thinks he's a teenager. Yes. In other words, an old bag trying to look young. It's a sharp outfit. I like it. And it'll look good when we get on the red carpet and take pictures. There we go. So what are we doing today? I'm not good. Oh, I'm here we go. Our, our guests better be easy or else. Our guests are going to be great. Can you guys hear that better now? Because I just uh, changed the microphone to the microphone. Yes, and it, my voice is gone. So please. Don't don't go by my voice. Um, so somebody in the chat room, tell me if you can like hear us better now. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not thing. working on a movie because I would be in big trouble. Okay. You know we have to keep the scenes uh, the same. We shoot on Monday a scene, and then three weeks later we shoot the, the continuation of that scene, which means if you have one voice pattern and then you switch to another one and it's the same scene can't do it because it looks stupid so when we're like this we have a nurse on the set and the nurse dopes you up with everything she shoots you up with heroin morphine everything <clears throat> not really i didn't understand any of that why would of course you didn't because you don't you don't pay attention no, to but me why why are we talking about shooting because, one day because on all you do is use my body <laughs> you just use my gorgeous body What's that? And then once you're done using my body, you don't give a fuck about me. Right. Made me curse. See that? And I wasn't going to curse today. That's okay. So what's up, chat room? We want to welcome people in the chat room. Stefan Bell is in the chat room. Hi, Stefan. How's my gorgeous Tina? Uh, Don Hinton is in the chat room. Likes your watch. Hi, Don. Uh, yeah, this is a watch given to me by uh, Tits. 
Uh, that's Eileen Shapiro's nickname, Tits. Yet to show it. You can't hold uh, well, it down hang there. Just a second. Are you directing again? Yes. Well, nobody I'm not can in the mood today. I know, but nobody can see it you when know you're what? looking I'm at gonna it down there. I'm going to blow snot. But all you know, of, most people listen. I'm going to blow snot all anyway, over your on, black shirt. Anyway, come on, I have stuff to talk Shut about. Shut up. Let's I'm going to blow snot all over your black <laughs> shirt, you prick. Anyway, this is a, a what do you call it? Michael Kors watch that Eileen Shapiro gave me for Christmas. Isn't it lovely? You know the nice gift she gave me? Yes, it's beautiful. Next year, Eileen, I want a, a diamond gold Rolex. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so what's up? Uh, who else is in the chat room? Lady Lake is in the chat room. Hi, Lady, Lady Lake Music Lake. is in the chat room. Oh. B. Claudia joined us. B. from Join My Me. Uh, so is uh, Hub Reynolds Jr. is in the chat Hub. room. Hub, I don't know if you wore us. If you saw our show last week, but I wore that gorgeous Indian bracelet you gave me, the big suede one with the Texas. Um, anyway, I wore it. See, and I said that if people liked it, they could order it from you. I don't know if he's still doing it or not, but he says he missed us last week. I so, know you hey, were, hey. and I pushed your bracelet last week. Um, so, yes, we're going to see Brute 1976, Marcel's new movie. Uh, the premiere is tonight. It should be a lot of fun. Hub says loves you. Um, we have two great guests today, you guys. I'm super excited. Uh, the first guest is Matthias. And I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Matthias Hughes. I think he's German. Why do you, Actually, have, why do you have difficulty with people's names? I just Because it could be Matthias. It could be. It, there's lots well, of ways you, you look at it. it and you do it phonetically. No, it doesn't matter. That doesn't if make it's any a European difference. name. He's German, I think. A German? I think then, he's going to be calling us from Germany. Then you have to pronounce it German. What is his name? M-A-T-T-H-I-A-S. Matthias, I think. Matthias. Matthias. Oh, there's an S on the yeah, end? Matthias. Matthias. Um, Mythis. Matthias. Hey, B. Claudia, how do you pronounce it? Bezala. We'll find out. 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 Matthias. Matthias. So Matthias Hughes, and then we have Tom Matthews coming on, you guys. So Matthias Hughes is a great action star. He's worked with all the fucking huge action people. Um, and he's got a new movie that came out today actually, uh, that's got a bunch of people that are friends that have been on, on our show before. Cynthia Rothrock, we were with her at the Academy Awards party that we went to Sunday night, and she's in the film, and um, should be a lot of fun. And then we have Tom Matthews, who everybody knows him from Return, all the Return of the Living before Dead Before you do movies. that, we have to talk about the, 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 the Oscar party we went to. Yes. Insane. Thousands of people, no one in show business probably, all a bunch of people that bought a ticket. The ticket was three hundred dollars a person, and these people spent. Well, there was a bunch of ticket prices, but well, some was it two hundred dollars for two, the, two fifty, three, so three. They all these are people, regular people in the street, audience, you know, people that work in supermarkets, and they came all dolled up like where they were going because they don't know what they're doing. <clears throat> they think if you look like a drag queen, you're going to get discovered. To take over the spot. When I used to go to events of the Oscar years ago, only the people involved with the film or actors went. So we would stand around and talk about our craft. Today, yesterday, Sunday, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying. Sunday, it was just ordinary people not speaking about the business. They were all getting on the red carpet doing all this posing stuff. I wanted to smack them. I want to say, get the fuck off that carpet. You don't deserve to be on that carpet. You're not in the movies. You have nothing to do with our business. Why are you here? Your audience, you're supposed to buy a ticket and watch our films and applaud. That's all. Anyway, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not, not in it. Well, what's wrong with you today? Today you're irritating. You're very no, irritating. I want to talk too. To you we, we got some when, great you, when we want people to go to the bathroom, no, we'll make you true. talk. Yeah, right. Anyway, Cynthia Rothrock was there. Who, when she came on our show, we got 12 million plays. Um, Patrick Kilpatrick was there. We got to meet Lauren Tilton Jacobs, you guys, from uh, Welcome Back Cotter, believe it or not. I don't know if, if, if you guys are old enough to know what Welcome Back Cotter even is. Um, but, but that the was real a huge stars show. were Linda. Uh, uh, Kate Linder. Kate Linder was there. My sweetheart, who I love. Patrika Darbo. Patricia Garbo. Darbo. Patricia Darbo. And um, that's about it. Don the Dragon Wilson was there. Right. All the, About um, five celebrities were invited to come there, and none of them showed up. Now, did they do that just to get people to buy tickets, or did all these five stars forget that it's bad manners to be advertised to be in a show and not show up? 
One was Lou Ferregnon, who I've met a million times. And Lou is a nice guy. So I don't really think that Lou gave it a yes to going there. I think that the PR people gave a bunch of names so they could buy tickets, which is fraud, but that's what we live in fraud. Our whole country is fraud, fraudulent now. Either way, it was very good for business and it was very good for our show. Everybody knew who we were. Oh, yeah. and that's uh, the thing that freaked me out. So many people came up and said, Ron Russell, how are you? And I looked at them like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> and I just smiled and I said, oh, fine, thank you. And how are you? Good to see you. No idea who they are. And how, we love your show. You're very funny. Uh, a, a new con You're a great new concept of a talk show. You're not boring like other shows. I mean, just the nicest people in the world came up to us. And I don't think any of them have ever really seen our show. <laughs> yeah, they have, because they, they wouldn't say it. I mean, they a lot of times people... How would they know us? Well, otherwise? a lot of times somebody will say, there's Ron Russell to someone, and then that person runs over and says, hello, Ron Russell, and has no idea who you are. Even the security guards were asking to take pictures with us. Like, the people doing security and stuff were like, oh, my God, we love your show. And they yeah, were really. Pictures I, I was so overwhelmed with all of the uh, attention and the compliments. It was a wonderful evening for us on that viewpoint. And it was great because um, we sat at the table of Dream Cinema Productions, which is two of the films that we're going to be working on this year. One of them is Death Realm, The Haunting Begins, and the other one is called um, Psionic Rush. And, uh, and if you ever saw these guys, they look like hitmen from Brooklyn, mafiosos, all of them. So, of course, my boss, who's Racer, that's his name, Racer, I call the boss, the, the head of the mob. And, and they're just a bunch of great guys that we're going to be working with for weeks in trailers in Nevada. If we don't kill each other, we're going to remain good friends forever. No, it's going to be fun. So real quick, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, you can listen to the show, excuse me, on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Prime. And I have good news for you people out there. If you remember the nanny and you remember Fran Drescher's mother, Renee Taylor, well, Renee and I are working right now on her coming in on my movie, playing the star sister. It will be hilarious because we're going to have the best comedians left in the world in my movie. The the curse. What is it called? The, the curse. The, the, the cursed the, gift of magic. The curse. What is it? The cursed gift of magic. Is that it? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> the cursed gift of magic and Renee Taylor. Uh, she loves the script, so I think she's coming in. We're just negotiating contracts, so that's good news. Uh, I would love to work with Renee Taylor. She's just the funniest lady around. You remember her from The Nanny. She played the mother. Anyway, we're going to move forward with our first yes, guest. Yes, let's go to our first All right, let's guest. Bring, let's bring him on. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Good. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This I have is a really question. Exciting. I have a question yes. for you. So is it Matthias? Matthias? How do you pronounce it correctly? It's Matthias. Matthias, see? That's what I said. <laughs> I said that and you just and you said no, no, no. Matthias, no, no. all right, all right. I just wanted to get it right so we can do a proper introduction. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, because I'm German, so that's why it's spelled if it's spelled the same, but it's pronounced the I is Matthias in Germany. I explained that to him. I'm Italian. Yes. All right, so, so you know, Italian, okay? You know, Europe, I, I was raised with ethnic German, Italian, Jewish. My right. neighborhood was a big melting pot. Brooklyn, you know, melting oh, pot. Brooklyn, yeah. yes. So you learn accents. I want to tell you something. Wait, I want to like Wait, introduce him so people know who he is. I'll oh, introduce him. Go ahead. Oh, All right, started. everybody. Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, action superstar mm -hmm. Matthias Hughes. Hello and oh. welcome to the show. This is my cool, outrageous man about town co-host Ron Russell. I'm so excited to give him the best compliment he ever got. Okay, go. <laughs> if we cut your hair short and dark yes. it, you can look like the brother to the actor we love. Oh, that helps a lot. Richard, Richardson's husband, the passed away Richardson girl. Oh, Liam Neeson. You look like Liam, oh, Liam Neeson. Neeson. How yeah. many people have told you you look like Liam Neeson? Uh, a few, uh, but mostly it's the guy from Eagles. <laughs> What's no, who? Glenn Fry? Or no, uh, who's the who, guy? Who, who, oh, I, I, who has the longish blonde hair. 
I'm not uh, sure. If you look it up. <laughs> you're you're as handsome as Liam Neeson. Neeson. Oh, that is so nice. I mean, uh, I have to say, Liam Neeson is one of my favorite actors. You do look like him. So now, have you worked with oh, Liam Neeson yet? I think oh, Liam, no. Liam is English. He's but English, yeah. Oh, yeah. His, his he name. You need to manage because he's English. It's a, it's an Anglo name, but it could be German, Neeson. If, if you spell it U M. Oh, they're saying you look like Joe Walsh is the guy from the Eagles. Joe, Joe Walsh. Walsh. I'm like, okay. How do I, go? <laughs> I have a chat room full of people. They're very, very good. So say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hi, guys in the chat room. I'm so have, uh, grateful for you important. tuning in, by the way. Thank you. And we have one uh, one of our favorite people in the world. Her name is B. Claudia. She's in Bonn, Germany. And so she says hi from Bonn. So say hi to B. Claudia because she's putting on kinds Hello, of Claudia. Wie geht's dir? Hier ist der Matthias. Schönen guten Abend. Wir yeah, haben ja schon 8 Uhr abends, ne? See that? I have no idea what that was, but, but I'm but sure it was good, B. <laughs> some, some, some people don't like the compliment that you look like someone. They, oh, really, no, I don't, yeah. they don't enjoy uh, it. You know, uh, uh, interesting enough, I was never someone that wanted to be someone else in that particular... You know, everybody usually is who they are, right? And I noticed when I came to Hollywood that if people wanted to be like Van Damme or they wanted to be like Arnold or uh, Steven Seagal and they look just like it and act like it, they never really were so successful with it because there is already a Jean-Claude Van Damme. Exactly. Right? exactly. But I yeah. always wanted to be Cary Grant because I love oh, Well, Cary. you look like, yeah, I mean, look at you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Everybody, since I'm a kid, said I look like Tony Curtis and, Tony. I, and I sound like Tony Curtis. I know I knew Tony well. The first time I met Tony, I said, you know, people think we look alike. And Tony said, right. no, we don't. I'm better looking. He was better looking. But Tony <laughs> Curtis was a sweet. Uh, so I was happy that I looked like somebody so wonderful. Tony was a wonderful human being. Yes, he was. A and it's all actor, a moment. wonderful person. I don't think people try to offend you. I think they're really, when someone tells you something, they're meaning it at that moment. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yeah. An actual compliment because you associate the persona or the look of someone that you like or familiar with, right? Okay, next so, question. No, wait, wait. I want to. How I many wanna... broken bones do you have? Oh, you know, <laughs> quite, Let's a few, quite a few, but I'm doing pretty good, I have to say. Nothing broke? No. Ever? No, just, you know, knee surgery and shoulder broke. I mean, not broke, it's just bone on bone. I'm uh, 65, so. Obviously, that comes with age. That comes, you know. But you um, look like sixty-five. Oh, I don't know, You're but I, you know, we have good days and bad days, right? I'll be eighty-four in May. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah talk about old eggs. Talk He's going to be eighty-four. I'm eighty-four 60, years 60, old. I'll be May. sixty, so we're kind of like in the same ballroom. And no, so, no facelifts, <clears throat> nothing. Just good eating. A lot of Italian food. A lot of olive oil. This is crazy. How old did Tony Curtis get? Tony passed away at 86 uh, or 9, uh, 86, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, you really look like him. I tell you, I met Tony a few times in Vegas, and he was always very nice. Wasn't he a uh, character? Was he not a character, Tony? I, I don't want to tell you where I met him, but um, it was very Vegas. Let's put it that way. He was all Vegas. He was all... Like in the movies, you know what I mean? He's like he the real deal. He and was I'm nice. nobody compared, you know, I'm just uh, started out and he was so nice to me and I never forgot this, never. Oh, absolutely. I love his stories that I I would have lunch with him uh, oh. and he would talk about Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. And the things Ooh. he said about Marilyn were shocking. <laughs> <laughs> he said that I mean, Marilyn, he said Marilyn yeah. Monroe gave the best head. <laughs> You know what? Maybe she did, and uh, quite. No, he did, and he said that he got her pregnant, and that he was going to marry her once, years okay. ago before she became famous. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. So that, that I don't know if the public knows that, but it's okay to know because Tony said it in front of twelve different people. Oh so, wow! Uh, and it's out now. <laughs> very outspoken. Tony did not hide anything. I said to him, Tony, you wrote in your book or somewhere that you're gay. He said, I'm not gay. I said, well, where did I get that from? He said, you got it from that I said, I have sex with everybody. I don't care, men or women. 
<laughs> man or woman. That's what I he mean, said. <laughs> you know, it's, he lives in Hollywood. <laughs> I have you said it. You said it. I have Nothing. first of all a couple of things to go over. Number one, I just want to know: Have you? Do you know Sven Ol Thorson? Yes, very was, good. Very I'm well. very good. We're very good friends with his. Um, I'm very good friends with his wife, and he, they've both been on our show. And we have some other friends that are friends with him, and he's in your same genre. Big, you know. Yeah, film. yeah, yeah. I know Sven since the first first year I got to Los Angeles in 1986. Uh, because we all hang out uh, at Rose Cafe, Arnold, Sven, Van Damme, uh, Ralph Miller, uh, uh, you name it, all the big guys, right? And um, so Sven and Arnold, they started the, I call it like um, uh, the Knights Templar table, you know, where Arnold was so You look like the Knights Templar. They, oh, it really is like that. You look uh, like St. Clair. Same and, and Arnold is the king, right? He sits at the head of the table, and then there's Sven... I was there sitting sometimes, uh, Lou Ferrigno, everybody that was like in this group of big muscle guys and uh, Arnold is the king and everybody's like laughing or joking when he laughs. Uh, when he's joking, we laugh. I mean, he was clearly the king, right? And Sven was like his best friend, yeah, for sure, you know. That is so nice to look at. Don't you find him interesting? Yeah. You have an interesting face. You know, some people are just good looking but boring. Did you ever All see right. handsome, handsome, boring people? You have, yeah. an, you have an interesting face, a face okay. that you want to explore. I could really see you playing anything. I mean, if you, if you had your hair pulled back, you could play mafia. You could play yeah. king. You, 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 know, have, you have a very, very good Hollywood face. Very good. Well, if you saw the promo we used, too, right. like that we used for him without his shirt on, he's like a... He's like, oh, he's built? He's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Maybe you'll take your shirt off for our ladies. <laughs> ladies, yeah. you want to see his, his body? He, he, I bet you, you know... All right, look, girls, girls, look. Look, wait, wait. Anyway, hold on. So I want to. So first of all, so we went to this Oscar event on Sunday, and Don the Dragon Wilson was there, and Cynthia Rothrock was there, and I told her that we were having you on the show because she's been on the show a bunch of times, and she, did, yeah. she told me to tell you that you're going to be in Black Creek, Black Creek Two. Oh, wonderful, good. I, I mean, I have to say I love Cynthia. Uh, my first movie I've ever done was with Cynthia, Cynthia. Uh, so we got divergenized in this movie together basically our first american movie. virginized yeah she's so cool this girl uh i love her because she's the first girl i ever did a movie with you know she's, and, so uh, cool. she's very nice i hung out with her a bunch uh sunday night and she was on our show about two uh, in october she was on our show in october oh, okay. um, i saw the pictures by the way yeah, so she's fabulous. So then, um, the, the, what, wait, wait, she's the one wearing the red Chinese. No, no, that's Cat Kramer. Cat no, Cynthia Rothrock is the female version of him who right. kicks everybody's ass uh, and right. everything. Right, so, right, right, so right. I want to let go. So first of all, I, I've seen all your movies, especially the ones that you did in the '80s and the '90s, because I was a huge fan. And I didn't actually know your name. I just knew you were the big, you know, guy who kicked everybody's ass. And then. I started seeing you in movies from people that are all our friends, and then we had um, we had uh, Max Max Searchy on uh, Churchy oh, Churchy. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce yeah. it. You know, yeah. and you're in Andromeda Wars, and I was like, shit, we got to yeah. bring this guy like on the show because he's like the biggest action star ever. He's so much fun, and my two favorite action movies of all time um, are Bloodsport and Best of the Best. Those are yeah, like two, like those are like my like you know that get, yes. made me love the genre. And now right. I know you have a new movie that just came out today, The Last Kumite. Um, and I watched the trailer a bunch today, and I love the soundtrack that's in it. I know it's going to be – I mean, it's a total throwback to the 80s. And I have a question. Is is David Young – is that Bolo Young's kid? Yes, it is. Isn't that How something? How cool is that? Isn't that something? He looks just like Bolo Young, has an incredible body. And uh, it's like Bolo Young – cloned into himself again being Bolo Young, but it's a son. So um, for um, for the viewers who don't know, Bolo Young was fighting uh, Bruce Lee, you know, he became famous with that. And then he was fighting Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's the ultimate what? bad guy, Chinese, you know, 
very uh, intimidating guy, I got to tell you that. And I and fought him a couple him, times myself. Fought him in a, how many movies have you fought him in? Uh, just one. Okay, just one. I watched that. I watched the clips question, of that. Question, question, question. Yeah. I'm a fan of Jason Statement. I am. And I watched his latest movie. <clears throat> the Beekeeper. Me, the I have, beekeeper. <clears throat> I have desert uh, dust attacking me. We live in Palm Springs in the desert. Oh, you live in Palm Springs? Yes. We just, cool. saw, we just saw Beekeeper. How do you like I've it? I've never seen an action figure person beat up 35 big men. Secret Service agents. In one, <laughs> in, one, in one and a half minutes. How do you think of that? you think they've gone too far? Well, lately everybody goes a bit far, I have to say, like John Wick style, right? Yes. Um, I do like Jason Statham a lot. He's so uh, handsome, rugged. Uh, I'm sick of these super good looking guys, you know, I mean, this, like we talked earlier, he's like an interesting person. Very and interesting. Very he's intense. And I met him one day. He, he's not so big, but he doesn't need to be big. Be sure. You know? Yeah. How, and, tall uh, How tall are you? You're 6'2". 6'5". Right? Six, five. Six, five. You're huge. 6'5". Six, you, yeah. you could play, what's his name in a minute? Um, Dear God, being 83, the one thing is my mind is gone. No, I, come on. I forget names. Listen, you know how many people I've met in my life? 83. Yeah. A yeah. lot of the, Especially in Hollywood. King Lear. You could be a perfect King Lear. I'd love to see you as King. Yeah. Do you ever play King Lear? No. no Shakespeare. No. Wow. Shakespeare. Wow. It's a tall order. <laughs> it's a tall order. <laughs> yes. But you did, could absolutely do it, though. Wait, I want to go did back. You ever, though. Did you ever do Shakespeare? No, I um, because I'm German. It's rather difficult. I would have to have this English accent and all this. Um, possibly, I would take a stab at it. But people usually don't, you know, want to see me doing Shakespeare. You know what I mean? They kind oh, of I think you're very Shakespearean looking. Oh, extremely yeah. Shakespearean. Totally. You, know, you, you want to hear something strange, Ron? Uh, whenever I, in my whole career, it was like this, it's almost 37 years. Uh, people always said, oh, you, you need to cut your hair uh, because then you can play serious roles and you've been taken seriously, forget the muscles, all that bullshit. So then I cut my hair, I lose all my muscles and I show up somewhere and people say, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> you know? Exactly, exactly. No, exactly. I yeah, I'm still winning this game, you know, and I'm I'm about to this close again to cut my hair because my wife keeps saying, cut the hair, cut the hair. You need to change your look, you know. You need to become uh, 65 and this, you know, like a man, uh, with, no, you know, no, 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 no longer no. your body. <laughs> um, if, I were, if I were casting you, I would not cast you living on Long Island in New York in a little house with children. I certainly would not cast you as Father Knows Best. No way. Your look is so perfect. Don't change it. Because today, the like my look, yeah. I play mafia all the time. I don't know yeah. why. Maybe because I'm from Brooklyn <laughs> and I'm Italian. You look I, like, yeah, you know what I mean. You know. And I look like one. So they cast me all the time as a mafia. But if I had long hair like you, I would look oh. like Jane Russell. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. remember yeah. Jane Russell the movie star and, yeah. you know that's so funny that you say that it makes sense in a way right so right. yeah everybody is the way they are uh, like no. for instance Liam Neeson is always Liam Neeson and no matter what him. we love Jimmy and I are such fans of his he is yeah. the most the strongest performer without doing a fucking thing Man, he, he, he really is. There, uh, he stands out there and he's shot in, with yeah. the camera, and we're all in love with him. He yeah. is the most wonderful actor. Have you ever have you ever met him or seen him? Never. I would love to meet him and shake his hand and tell him, you know what? Yeah. I hate everybody in Hollywood because they're all full of shit. But yeah. you I like because you're an honest actor. You know, okay. actors have to be honest. I don't do you like actors that are not honest. You know, the, uh, hello, let's do lunch, you fabulous people. I can't stand them. Yeah, it's Hollywood. So I, I mean, I've been there for so long. Now I'm in Germany because my, my mom is older. She's 94. She, 
she said her end, right? God so bless God bless her, 94. Yeah, yeah, God bless her, huh? So yeah. do you anyway. just come back for roles then? You just fly, but come back for role to do roles? Yeah, yeah. And uh, But I just shot a movie here. Last Kumite was shot uh, next door where I live. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, which I want to go back to that. So a, guys... German, a German movie or in English? No, it's, an, uh, it's a martial art movie that's kind of like a homage to the 80, 90s blood sport kickboxer film. And Love as it. you mentioned, uh, Jimmy, there's uh, uh, Bolos Young in there, Cynthia Rothrock, Billy Blanks. I don't know. You guys know Tybo, Billy Blanks? Yeah, I do. I, I, know, I know all the action. I've seen every movie. Um, I love all the different movies. No Retreat, No Surrender. I've seen all of them. Mm -hmm. Kickboxers, I've seen all of them. Um, Jimmy so and I, I go in all different that. directions. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I know Lauren Bacall, Betty Davis, Jane Russell. I know all the old legends of Hollywood. I don't know any of the I'm basically, people that he knows. I'm basically an 80s kid, you know. Yeah. I was, uh, so I, I, I was really good friends with Corey Haim. I'm an 80s kid, so, so that's, that's so, what makes our show so, so interesting. We, that's why every week we bring on. Like two weeks ago, we had Rosalind Kind. That's Barbara Streisand's sister, sister, you know, on and 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 um, um, yeah. and so we change it up all the time. Every, um, no matter who watches our show, we'll find something of interest right. because we are so diversified. I'm right. old. Hollywood and Jimmy is I'm 80s Hollywood. A, a, you know, I'm yeah. basically 80s Hollywood. So, so I want to go back though to the last Kumite because it just yeah, came I'm out asking, today, right? No, I, no. I gotta it, ask him personal. Course. I know, but we gotta do this because we already started talking about it. I don't want to come back to it. I mean, it's okay, guys. Uh, we oh, can free no, no. I'm flexible. We go back and forth. No, I want to. I want to actually play the trailer. I want to talk about it. So, so tell us a little bit about the last Kumite, like you started to, and then what I'm gonna do is have you. Just an, uh, announce the film. We're going to play the trailer, and it's only a minute and something long, yeah. and then we'll come back and, and talk about it. And after that, I want to talk to Ron real quick because I'm a huge fan of old Hollywood in oh. a way because oh. that's where it all started. Um, and I envy people like you, Ron, that have met certain people. He knows so, that. My, my mother was silent movie actress Jenny Gabriel. So, I, I mean, we moved, through, we moved from Brooklyn to California in 1949. So oh. I, I grew up with everybody, you know. You really it, it's did. nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, Gloria Swanson was my mother's friend, so it was nothing for me to uh, be with movie stars. He nothing. knew Elizabeth Taylor. He knew Betty Davis. Everybody. He knew everybody. Every, every, <laughs> you know. Well, you know what? I grew up. I grew, I grew up here. So yeah. you you grow up with these people. You know, they were nothing to me. I mean, if I tell you the people we've had in our home growing yeah. up. <clears throat> I mean, big, I can't even remember half of them, but a lot oh. of them. Not yeah. Cary Grant. I never met Cary Grant, my yeah. idol. And yeah. that pisses me off. That pisses mm -hmm. me off. Yeah. There's always that one you never meet. Never Which met. We're going to go back to you and talk and about I never that met in a Marilyn Monroe. I never met Marilyn either. Yeah. I would There's have loved to have met her because yeah. Jane Russell was my best friend for years. Jane and I hung out together. We traveled together. We were like oh, wow. brother and sister. And I would talk to her about Marilyn when she made the movie Gentlemen Prefer Blondes with Marilyn. And Jane never said an unkind word about Marilyn. But I got a lot of good stuff that I'll never publicize. I'll keep with me. Right. There's just certain things you just don't say. Privileged it's information. But so wait, let's I, I, go gladly, back. I gladly talk to you about the old days. Go back. Let's go back to, to the last Kumite. Tell us just a little bit a little bit about it and then introduce it. And then our engineer, Juan, will uh, play it for us. And Juan, make sure you play the one that's a minute and something. Because I sent him the new one you sent me today. Because I the one I had uh, was only like a teaser trailer. So I sent him oh, the other one so okay. he could play it. So oh, tell cool. us about it. Is this the trailer that he doesn't have a shirt on? No. 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 Because oh, <laughs> I was going to warn him. It's no, worthless. I, yeah, I was, bro. No, uh, if, you, if you were half naked, I was going to warn the women out there to change the batteries in their volume. <laughs> I, sure have a funny story, guys, I have a funny story about this uh, after the trailer. The movie, if you want me, uh, I tell you really quick, it's just a homage of the 80s, 90s. That's what Kickboxer with the old timers, you know, and Billy Blank, Cynthia Rothrock, uh, and many uh, new talent the fighters there you go all right you guys so this is the uh the trailer for the last kumite we'll be right back
You're champion many times over. I can get you in a tournament. I'm talking about a real life kumite in Eastern Europe. It's such an honor to see so many champions in one place. All of you have been selected to participate in the kumite. What if we don't win? You really want to know? My undefeated champion. This is Draco. My wife is being held hostage, and I'm being forced to fight in a kumite. Draco? I can't beat him. You don't have to. You just have to survive. Has anyone ever come close to beating Draco? No. There's one man I believe knows how. Oh, there's a bunch of people with a lot of money looking for some entertainment. And Ron Hall has brought that too. And we're just our entertainer. No, we're more. Let the battle resume! Yeah! Michael, it's time! I can't wait! I love this shit so much. I'm so excited. Uh, in Germany, she's saying that that uh, that it, it says it came out today, uh, the 16th, I guess, and that the reaction in Germany has been really good, and mm -hmm. everybody says you're hot. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it a funny story. I, I swear to God, I love life. So uh, in 1989 or something, I was shooting this movie, Deathmatch, right? So I'm the guy with never a shirt on, walking around, the six packs, the muscles, and this and that. And Martin Cove was uh, the guy that is the bad guy, watches all the fighters fight and this and that, right? And I thought back then, oh, you know, that's Martin Cove from Karate Kid, right? And um, which he has a TV series now, the Karate oh, Kid television yes. series, right? So, and then... Suddenly, fast forward like 27 years or something, and then uh, I'm Martin Kolf now. I'm not the one taking my shirt off anymore. I'm the one who plays the bad guy having those young hot bodies, I mean, those muscle guys fight, right? And the first day, the director comes up to me and says, man, you got to take your shirt off. You're Matthias Seuss. You know, this is how we uh, see you. And I'm like, I looked at all these young guys, and I thought, no, I'm not going to take my shirt off in this movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> Like, no, I, I think you're wrong. You know, I tell everybody there's beauty in every decade. Yeah, that's look at true. Loren, she's a hundred uh, ninety years old almost. She don't look like she used to, but she's still a beautiful old Italian woman. And it's a yeah. lot of men. men I, mean, I think for sixty five, you're still handsome and sexy, and you're that's holding true. your own. No, I can't. Sharon loves you. I cannot compare <laughs> you to Jason. Uh, no, you're not like Jason, but Jason's not like you. <clears throat> right, everybody's different. You, you know, know, you hold your own. I okay. still, I still yeah. play. Uh, maybe not the leading man, uh, romantic, but I'm the dirty guy that's always making filthy wisecracks to women. Yes. And I, and I, and, I, and, I'm, and oh. the best part is I'm gay. Jimmy and I are married, and I'm gay, and I play these parts of these tough. Hot men that want to bang every bro they right, see. Right, right. So uh, you know, I think I, you're great for your age. I wouldn't change a thing about you. No, I think you're you're okay. You're good in my book. I don't like you with a beard. I think you'd look better shaven. <laughs> you know, you no. Know, when uh, I have a beard, I look a hundred. Jimmy tells me, shave. You look like an old man. No, when I have a beard, I don't look good. I like yeah, you. Yeah, I oh, see. There we go. A lot of it is subjective, right? My yes. wife said. No, a beard will age you. If I have what? to, like, I'm playing Kevin Bacon's father in an upcoming movie. Oh, wow. You know, oh, Kevin, wow. Kevin yeah. and I almost could look like brothers, not father and yeah. son, because I don't yeah. look old. So now I will grow a little bit of a beard and eyeglasses. Right, right, right. So, Interesting. Oh, wow. I'm a big fan a, of him. A clean shaven face is very useful. I'm totally going to get you. So I'm a producer. I don't act. I'm a producer. And I want to work with Liam Neeson. He's on my list of people. We love uh, him. 
to work we with. His work. Um, but it's I've brilliant. got nine movies in development, <clears throat> and now that I've like met you and I know who oh. you are and I can get in touch with you, I will see if anything if anything comes up, I'll definitely bring it your way because I started lower budget movies and now I'm now I'm doing movies that it's could actually movie. afford I could that could afford Liam Neeson and. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. uh, what I like about Liam, and I think you might act the same way, Liam does the least to show you the most. Right. And this I is what I love that kind of acting. I don't like actors when they're too animated or they oversell what they're yeah. doing. It bores me. Yeah. I like I, uh, on your page. I like uh, very subtle, um... subtle, subtle moves that are damaging. Right. Actually, not to act is the key, right? Um, yeah. just be the way you are in real life. Uh, whatever personality you are, it's coming across. When I was just shooting last comité, it wasn't me. It's not me. No, I, didn't okay. like, I didn't like the role. It's this flamboyant, loud and craw. He's cross. And um, I had a hard time playing it because it's not me. So I understand what you're saying, Ron. Uh, uh, less is more for me, you know? That's you something to, less is yeah. You know, this is, I don't I, like it. A lot of young people come up to me and they say, what advice can you give me as an actor, young actor? I say, hands, hands. Hands tell more stories than the mouth. Use yeah. your hands. And if you see me work and act, I am always working my hands with my, somehow. And it's interesting. You know, the camera comes in for a close up and you're speaking kind of boring. You know, it's okay. But if you do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. it becomes an event. You follow? Yeah, this yeah. Is true. And I love that about Liam. Liam Neeson, he does that. Liam is just stands there, delivers his line, and gives a look. It's one. He's a wonderful actor. Yeah, so really. I want to go back. So, so number one, you guys, uh, because... Um, in Drama Awards, I, I tried to get the trailer off of YouTube, but like it, it wouldn't. It was doing weird things. But but that's going to be coming out soon. That's the Max Cersei film, which we we hung out with him, uh, and he was on our show. He's a great guy. We love him. Um, and in yes. that is John Ozuna, who's a good friend of ours. We were with right. him at the Academy Award thing on Sunday. Sweet oh, Chuck, yeah. Chuck Liddell, who's a badass. Nicholas Turturro, yeah. uh, John Mack, who's hot. She's hot. Uh, Robert Donovan's a good friend of ours, and Rhino oh, Michael's right. a friend of ours. So like everybody that's in it. Do you know yeah. our friend Jan, Jan Birch? Yeah. yeah, you know everybody. We oh, yeah, love we everybody. Jan Birch is We're another We're going to see one. him tonight. He, We're going Jan, to a premiere Jan, tonight. Jan and his wife are the most wonderful people you will ever yeah. meet in your life. Yeah, no, I they love both neighbors. of them. They live Jan. right there where I used to live. They are so nice. Um, and we'll Jan, say Jan for you. I'll tell him that we had you on the show today. Yeah. And, uh, we and say hi. Yeah. Jan is a wonderful guy. And a he, good actor. Yeah, he's a good actor and he has a great I'm face. Working, I'm working with him in a movie coming up. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. so I've, I've never worked with him and it's fun. So it'll be fun working with him. Oh, he's good. He's good. So here, I'm going to brag a little. Here's some of the people that you've worked with. Um, and some of them, we actually, so you like, like Cynthia Rothrock, we know. Um, mm -hmm. Natalie Denise Spurl was in Gunfight at Rio Bravo. And I'm a, when I'm not producing, I'm a publicist. And so <laughs> she was one of my clients. Uh, oh, Eric. Eric Roberts been on the show. Patrick Kilpatrick's been on the show. We hung out with Costas Mandalore. He's coming on the show. I love him. He's um, fabulous. Michael Perret, yeah. Ron, we know. I know Michael for 40 something years. Barbara, oh, yeah. Barbara Crampton's been on the show. Udo Kier, we see in Palm Springs all the time. Uh, we went oh. to an Oscar party a couple years ago with Kelly Hugh. Uh, Eric Roberts has been on the show. Bai Ling is coming on the show. Uh, oh, good. Oh, Mark. Wow. The Costco's, I love him. Uh, Adrian Paul's been on the show. Uh, Robert oh, Dobbins wow. been on the show. Oh, wow. Uh, Randy Reyes Jr.'s been on the show. <laughs> our, show it's like a, our show is not like some of the shitty podcasts you have. Everybody, it's really good because all the people you just mentioned, they have been around. They, they're awesome people. Oh, no, Absolutely. they're all fun. We only have, we only invite all, people that we think are going to be terrific. All, on the show. all pros. All pros. We're the I'm number one. We're the number one podcast show in the world. Did you know that? Yeah, we're way up there. Yeah, you know what? I, I did some uh, research, and it's amazing. Uh, yes. unbelievable. Because you know why? You know why? We're real. We don't yeah. hold this shit like, hello. What, what made you think you could be an actor one day? 
We're not punch. Yeah. Like, Plus, we don't have like all I do is write down the movies that you're in. I don't have any questions. We just no. talk. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's the genre of your show because, uh, and I think your success all, also lies in the fact that you both are very different. Yes, you have different personalities, different looks, and you have a different. Um, you like uh, '80s movies, right? And you, Ron, you like more the old time Hollywood style okay. and. Uh, season actors, you know. Um, I think it's a wonderful blend together. So well, you're covering, you're covering the cover. the thing. The thing that we went to the Oscars Sunday, all right? Yeah. The party. I was shocked at the people that came up to me. I didn't think anybody knew us because we're radio and television. Saying yeah. how great our show was, how much they loved it, and how they felt like they were visiting us. One guy said, I felt like you were my best friends and I was sitting with you. And I hugged yeah. him. I said, thank yeah. you so much because that's what we want. We want everybody that comes on our show to think they're in Brooklyn, in right. my kitchen, having coffee and Enterman's crumb cake and just yeah. shoot the shit. You, you can curse, say whatever you like. You could be you. You don't mm -hmm. have to be on to be on our show. And I think right. that's the secret to our show. We bring out the truth in the performer, in the actor. And you're a sweetheart of a guy. I mean, I could have beers with you in Germany. And, and oh, yeah. some, yeah. you know, some actors you can't. You know, how you ever meet an actor, no matter what you do, they're fucked up. They don't talk. They stay away. Yeah, you ever yeah. That? So there's so many shades of uh, people. I mean, you meet them all while you're out there in Hollywood. Um, I, I met every celebrity, uh, not that... Uh, mostly also you see them it's not that i meet everybody I, I at least where i live in brentwood in the coffee shops in my gym there uh, everybody's all the a-list people are there and some people are like eh, i don't know they don't even i don't know you just sense it they're not they're a bit stuck up you know um and some the biggest names are so friendly again so it's kind of weird um i don't know uh it's Hit or miss, right? Hit or miss. Yeah. I, I, I think a lot of them are have drug problems. I and think so. A lot of them are stoned, and they're not showing yeah. you. They're pretending they're not stoned. And yeah. that's why they seem to be aloof. So hang on. Yeah. I, have, I want to change the topic because I have several things I want to talk about still. Okay. Uh, number yeah. one, first of all, so I collect action figures. I have like an extended oh, yeah? figure collection do you have an action figure have they made an action figure of you yet no uh they did a horror uh figure for this uh, puppet master sequel yeah but not you specifically right oh they did they did but i think uh they did it from barbara kempton they did it from for all the cast but i don't know where to buy those oh i'm gonna look it up then i'm gonna look it up yeah. and see by this way yeah. ask, ask barbara if you have contact with her too she, I guess we she do. i'm doing a movie with her uh soon hopefully you should but ask her if, if this ever panned out because they scanned us you know oh that's cool because i love that then my next question uh is um so you have two films that are unusual on your bio number one you were in peewee's circus or big peewee's big top as like a circus yeah, leader that was an awesome movie for me it's an awesome movie. It's a fun movie. We love Pee Wee. Mm -hmm. I, I have Pee Wee Herman action figures. Um, so how was that? And then my second part of the question is, you also were a power in a Power Ranger movie. I don't know if you were a Power Ranger or you were a bad guy, but you were in a Power Ranger. Exactly, I love yeah. Power Rangers. I love the Power Rangers. I did too. Uh, uh, so, uh, Pee Wee Herman, um, what an interesting character. So uh, I was really uh, unaware of who he was when I got cast because I just arrived in Hollywood. Um, okay. And I was playing uh, Siegfried and Roy. I was playing Siegfried. They casted the guy, blonde, German, lion yeah. tamer. So I walked in the office. I had the job, you know. And um, we were in a circus, and there were, like, Chris Christopherson was there, you know. Valeria Golino, this uh, Italian movie star that comes That's to Hollywood cool. movies with all the big people, right? Um, then Benicio de Toro, uh, a, a lot of powerful, beautiful people were there. And then there was P.V. Herman, who was the most famous man I ever met at that point, because we couldn't even go on the street. Uh, he would be crushed by mostly kids and young people and fans. He was so famous that when we went places, he um, had to disguise himself, you know? <laughs> and 
Yeah, and he wasn't P.V. Herman in real life. He wasn't like, you know, he was like P.V. Herman, like a normal uh, Paul. He was Paul. He, he was, was Paul. Paul. Yeah. yeah. A really cool guy. Uh, very shy and quiet, you know. Okay. And then he, he was a tragedy. Yeah. What they did to that man was pathetic. Yeah, they, I know. They, invaded, they invaded his private space and then yeah. publicized it and crucified him. Yes. He died a very unhappy man. I, I am so sorry about this because look, we, we live in Hollywood, which is so liberal, right? I mean, come on. Absolutely. We are very liberal people there, yes, sexually absolutely. open, everything, right? And absolutely. then you get crucified for your sexuality or what well, it, was, it was a private matter. Yeah. It was a private life. He wasn't public. He was in a movie what? theater playing with himself. How I many know. men do that? <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? You go to New York City. You go to six porn theater. It was a porn theater. So I'm yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. to New York. Go to se a ninth, a eighth, Seventh Avenue, Sixth Avenue, and all the straight men da 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 da, -da in there watching all the naked girls. Nobody yeah. arrests them. Yeah. But if you're a celebrity, you know, I mean, it's that's how. It, it's a pity. It, yeah, and it was at a time where it was like sort of like scarlet lettering people, you know, before the Me Too movement, a couple other actors, boom, they got it. But uh, coming back to P.V. Herman, uh, the director was Randall Kleiser. He lived in Hollywood Hills. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, we know him. Yeah, we know. We know everybody. <laughs> uh, you do, yeah. Uh, so this was Hollywood royalty, and I just arrived in Hollywood. For me, this was, wow, look at this. You know, I'm with yeah. Chris Christopherson, and then... We're smoking. Um, Chris Christopherson. I can't remember the where. Star is born. Yeah, I know, but I can't remember where or when. But it, I've I've met him, yeah. and yeah. I, he had the most interesting voice. Yes. A very and gravelly, he, deep, deep voice. Yes. And he's an interesting guy. I mean, he came to the set and he said, "I'm going to bring my kids today." So there is this suburban, this large suburban that arrives, and I counted 19 kids or something. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, tonight we're going to your paisano of yours, uh, Marcel oh, Waltz. Oh, do you know Marcel Waltz? Yes, I do. Yes, please say hi. Yes. yes. He's, my, he's my dearest and best friend in the whole world. I call him my brother. And we're going oh. to his, his yeah, red, he carpet. red carpet. Premiere he's got tonight. a new movie coming out tonight that we're excited about. Wonderful. In L.A., in Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah we have to drive to L.A. Gonna, wow. As soon as the show is over, we hop in the car. And we drive to Hollywood to go to the wow. red carpet. Are you going to stay overnight or are you going to drive yeah. back? We have dogs. We have to come back. We have yeah. three dogs. Oh, you like me. You're like me. I have dogs. I can never go anywhere. Yeah, and, and, and I don't like sleeping out of my bed. I'm old-fashioned Italian. Yeah, when I was yeah. a kid, everybody used to sleep in everybody's house. And my father never let me. He said, you got your own bed. You sleep here. You don't sleep in anybody's house. You got so, a point. Old-fashioned Italian thinking. So let me let me. Uh, so here's a couple things you guys can see Matthias in. Uh, the last Kumite, like I said, is coming out uh, today. It's out now. Um, Andromeda Wars is coming out soon. He's also got. Uh, this is just some of them. I picked them because we know all the people in them. Uh, taken from Rio Bravo. Gunfight at Rio Bravo. Borrowed Time Three. Puppet Master: The Littlest Reich, uh, which we have a lot of friends that have been in Puppet Master movies. Maximum oh, yeah. Impact. Ultimate Justice, Black Rose, uh, Money Fight, um, and then like awesome is Kickboxer Two. You got No Retreat, No Surrender Two, um, which are like my favorite. Know, that's a, just that's a dumb dog, and uh, you keep Brandy. talking, and I'll fix it. Okay, hang on. Ah. Brandy, what kind of dog you have? What kind of dog you have? We have three rescues. We have a hundred and thirty-five pound uh, Brazilian Mastiff, and wow, we, have, I love that. we I love have a seven-pound. Poodle Terrier mix. Here's the seven pounds. That's a seven pound. Say hi. <laughs> and then we have we have a um a, a, a what, like what a is thirty five pound English sheepdog terrier mix. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, so hey, do you guys live it, you love living in Palm Springs? Is it fun? Is it? Oh, a big I hate place? it. I uh, hate it. It's it's very hot. Yeah. Um, I I don't like it at all. It used to be no. wonderful. It used to be full of celebrities and movie people. No longer. No. No, it's not what it was when I I came here in 1960, and it oh. was wonderful. You'd go up to the go there all the time. You know, I loved it so much there. Uh, but then oh, again, I don't like it. But living here is a no, little bit different. Living here is a little very bit very different. hard to socialize. 
because all of our friends are in Hollywood. So they mm -hmm. only visit us when they happen to come out. If you're in but, Hollywood, you can have a party and people can come. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, but, you're you're, not, huh? but you're not going to live in uh, Hollywood anymore? or um, No. Uh, First of all, I would live in Hollywood. Can you lend me three or four million dollars? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, right. right. To so live in Hollywood the way we live here. Gonna, give me $3 million so I could live in a studio. Hold on one second. I, I look what I have in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to have that much on me. But yes. I, I can sympathize because I feel like all I do, ha you have to work just to pay rent, right? No, we own our house here in Palm Springs. Yeah, that's what I mean. So you take that money and you put it where you can uh, buy a I'm, house. I'm, I'm a New Yorker at heart. And we're, we're thinking of selling and moving back to Long Island, oh, out, to, oh. out, to, out to East Hampton, because I love the Hamptons on Long Island. But the problem is you guys are so social, you'll, you would lose all your Hollywood friends. You know what I mean? I don't think we'll lose them because I'm so when we moved here, you know, we're gonna be we, weren't, we weren't we weren't as, as well known. But now, like I literally as a producer, I get pitched about. 30 projects a month like everybody wants me to like work on their projects um oh, so wow. so now now it doesn't matter where we live because our show we can be anywhere and mm -hmm. and as a publicist i can work anywhere and as a producer you know they just got to fly me and you know, once we start mm -hmm. working you know they gotta no, but get me there. listen so many people we know just found out now i know celeste sylvester stallone he moved out yeah he moved to florida he moved to florida so oh, wow. every, and and then ron moss the soap opera star he and his wife moved, moved to, to Arizona. They moved to Arizona. So, so many of our friends have left California. And the only time we see each other is if we work together. Or, right. we, or, or we the go to an event. Like we're going to an event tonight. We'll see everybody right. tonight. Right. So, you no, you no longer have to work in Hollywood to get. That's, that's, that's you, true. You're in freaking Germany and you just did a movie. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, listen, you're in Germany. And right now, five million people will be watching or listening to this show because that's oh. what that's our reach that's what we get that's huge. that's huge now 40 50 years ago in my day the only way people would know you through a magazine hollywood mm -hmm. mag love magazine yeah you would have to be the, the right publicity yeah. so yeah. you had to stay in hollywood yeah, we, we could first of all listen i'm in a movie in nevada arizona i'm going to portugal and Germany will be in where we're going to be in Germany. Actually, I might be able to get him in that one. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, no. we haven't started cat. We've only cast it's a big movie. We've only the only people that are attached so far are Sharon Stone and Mel Gibson. But uh, um, oh, that's amazing! That's good, good for you. Wow, wow, it's a, it's a trilogy and it's a big film. And, they, and, and there's uh, a rumor going around. I'm not allowed to say, so it's only a rumor. Brad Pitt, hello, did I say Brad Pitt? No, that's a different one. Oh, no, I didn't hear uh, Braddy. Um, wow, guys. So what the hell? I don't have to live in, in Palm Springs in the sand. That's true. That's true. You know, uh, you know uh, in 2009, I moved to Bali. Actually, uh, we, we lived there as well. So, but when I was in Bali, I was like, damn, this is really far away. Um, right. And I uh, told my wife, we I have to live half and half, you know, so we go back and forth. Um, because we thought... You know, like everybody thinks, oh, living in paradise. But after a while, paradise is so freaking boring. I gotta yeah, tell you. I, would, I couldn't live in paradise. That's I what, have to have like that's malls what, and shit. That, <laughs> listen, what I was starting to say in 1960, or I was when I was 17, 18, 19, I was very good looking. You still are. Parties to be, you know, attacked, raped, or whatever. Yeah. I didn't go. I didn't go for that. I would go to the parties, and if the the star was coming on to me, I would say to him, "Not tonight. I've got gonorrhea." <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I would lie. That's how I got out of there. I'd say, "No, I'm getting shots for gonorrhea when I'm <laughs> back." When That's I'm a back. really good one to me. Uh, wow, that that will shut it off right there. I tell you that. Let me, let me tell you. Back then, the lesbian women, I knew them all. I mean, the, if you knew the lesbian women in Hollywood, you'd faint if you found out who they were. I mean, oh, okay. people that, that were incredible. These people wanted sex. They didn't want sex with each other because they, they couldn't. They were too busy looking in the mirror. 
So they would bring in beautiful young women from Hollywood that want to be actresses. And if they swung a little bit, they would go with the lesbian. And the same thing with the movie star men. They wanted sex, so they bring in beautiful young boys to go yeah. to the party. Hang on a second, sir, because we've only I was got, never a prostitute. We only have a little never, bit of time left. Never, I never. Say, number one, I just want to ask you. How many times have you been approached? A lot, yeah. If you give me sex, I give you a movie. I, I can tell you more stories. Uh, like, we all can tell stories that we cannot tell that are so out there that you think, what world are we living in? It hits all of us. Sooner or later, you're going to get approached. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's now, now <laughs> if, I, if I went in the middle of Palm Springs and stood there naked, screaming, have sex with me, they'd still pass me by. So, <laughs> You know, what I mean? they That's drive by true. and say, "Look at that hit on everywhere look at that we go. Cra look at that crazy guy." It gets hit on by men and women everywhere we go. That's not crazy. <laughs> yeah. so I want to ask. I have three questions for you. Um, the first question is: Have they ever approached you to play like Jason or Michael Myers or anything like that? Because you're so big. Uh, uh no. Uh, I actually wanted to play um, Chainsaw Massacre. Uh huh. Uh, but it went to another actor, Andrew Benowski. Yes, okay. I know him. I know him too. Yeah. Well, I figured. <laughs> but you know what? You held your own. You did a lot. I, Puppet Master is a movie I like, by the way. I, I, I do horror movies all the time. Yeah. And yeah. I don't like them. Oh, that's so funny. Huh? And I tell them I will not be in a horror movie that's chop. If it's a yeah. chop movie, I'm not in it. Wait, wait. Yeah. In the chat room, B. Claudia from Germany is writing that you have a book called Shirtless in Hollywood, The Battle for Hollywood. I don't oh, that's know. Cool. I don't know what the other thing part of it is because it's in German. The the battle for Hollywood Tasher Budge Boot Tekken Boots. I don't know what the hell that means. It's on Amazon. So what kind of book is it? Is it all you? It's, yeah, I wrote it and uh, no ghostwriting. It's uh, it's uh, almost five hundred pages of uh, uh, Hollywood. Oh, and, you know, it's a love story. It's nothing, nothing slandering, nothing of that sort, because uh, that would be another book. But I don't believe in. Airing yeah. out. Yeah. 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 I got so many stories, you know, uh, about uh, Hollywood, like you have, right? And I wrote it uh, in a, a, a novel type, but it's all true. It's like a memoir. And um, uh, it was just so much fun to write it because I love Hollywood so much. Oh, I love that. All right. So I then my it. other question, we'll have to uh, tell everybody to get it. And uh, my next thing is that uh, you... Um, so here's what I like to ask all the actors. It's like a bucket list. You've worked with so many, uh, so many different people. Um, uh, you worked with so many different people. Uh, what bucket list male and female actor that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with? And if you could have been in any film that's ever been uh, uh, made, what movie would you have liked to have been in? Okay, so yeah, uh, I would have loved to work. I would love to work with Mel Gibson or meet him. You okay, know? Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah. Oh. I might yeah. be able to help that. Well, that might happen. In, in the, <laughs> in the movie. Well, I, I'm in that movie too. Wouldn't that be nice if we worked? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you guys are so lucky you get to work with him. Uh, that's one thing. The movie I would have loved to be in it, have been in it, um, was, um, you know, um, one of those, um, oh, Gladiator. I auditioned, but I didn't get it. So Gladiator, yes. Who? Oh, that's a good. That's the one that who, uh, who, who? Sven is in. Who? Yes. Uh, yes. Gladiator. Oh, Gladiator. Hang on. Yeah. yeah yes, uh, you'd, be, you'd be good in Gladiator. Yeah, you there was a good role in there. I didn't get it. It was Ralph Miller got it. You could He's still a play a Gladiator. You look good enough to play a Gladiator. Talk for a second, because our next guest can't get the link to work, and I got to send it to him. Oh, no problem. Oh, uh, so blah, 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 blah. Talk, talk, talk. I got to make it quick and funny and fast. Uh, so when Ron, you, how often, I guess. Yes, you're such an interesting person. Thank you. Really you. Are. Well, yeah. you know, if you don't accumulate a lot in 83 years, yeah. you're an asshole, you're stupid. I am a, I'm a Gemini and I'm a sponge. I have yeah. to learn continuously. Like now I know you, I will know all about you or I won't know you at all. If you're, and you're an interesting guy and, and I'd like to work with you because what am I playing? Any, I'm not playing mafia. They got me playing some other shit. I think I'm yeah. a detective. A, a cop. You can play anything. I mean, you can play so many I roles. Play, 
I play priests, cops, yes. Yes. and mafia. And now yes. fathers, a lot of time, I mean, two or three movies playing a father. But so, you could also play a priest, believe it or not. Oh, I do play oh, a yeah, priest. He's played a I, priest I have a played times. a priest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, uh, you could play uh, also an FBI or CIA. I do. Uh, I'm an FBI agent. In, yes. in a, a movie. Actually, they're, they're, the sky's the limit when it comes to you. you, no, you I'm, got a to I'm a character actor. Yeah. A, and that's I'm really a, wonderful because you, everything is open for you. Everything. It's yeah, awesome. Like so, number one, I want to say thank you for coming. I'm so happy that we now know you. Yes, you're my a, buddy. Since we really do you have a lot like of friends. In, we, we really do thank have you. a lot of friends in common. Yes. Um, I would yes, love to work with you in the future. And yeah, now that I know that you're cool, because I always like to like uh, meet people on the show and find out if they're cool because if you're a dick, then I don't want to work with you. <laughs> you know what I like most about you? You want to hear what I like most about you? <gasps> yeah, I do. You're old school. You're a gentleman. Yes. Oh, thank and you. That, and I am older. And you don't find yeah. gentlemen today. They're gone thank with you. the wind. But you are a gentleman and you remind oh. me of a 1940s actor. Oh, thank you so much. It means a lot to me because I love Hollywood back then and I love Hollywood now if you don't love Hollywood don't be part of it you have to love it right because it's not easy you have to love the work yes the work the people you hate it sometimes but overall wow thank God I'm allowed to be there you know absolutely so congratulations yeah. on all your success. Yes. Everybody check out the last Kumite it's now gonna be available is it available in America now too? Oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so everybody yeah. watch watch it it's a lot of tell you guys enjoy and thank you so much say hello to your wife love all the pictures in the thank background you. and we'll see you soon look forward to you thank you for me and we'll talk soon bye bye take care bye bye yeah Avita Zane what a cool guy though right very nice fellow so you guys real quick before we bring on our next guest Ron wants me to play this so uh we have Clowney official teaser trailer Clowney's going to be coming out later this year uh, Ron plays a role in it, and the trailer is actually pretty good. Um, it's a lot of fun. So enjoy Clowny, and then we'll come back with our next guest, Tom Matthews. I see he likes toys. This is my son. I mean, my son's doll. Tomorrow is our Thursday. It's our new home. Bye, Dada. Bye, Mama. I love you, too. You'll be fine. Let's welcome Gavin to our classroom. Sorry, kid. Seat's taken. Welcome to our town. Changing schools is hard, but you will find a special friend. No, he may be mute, but he's sure ain't blind. You still gotta do this, right? Well, before you blow out the candles, you have to make a wish. You brought this doll. I didn't realize. Looks like you have HCG in your system. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. I thought the doctor said you couldn't get pregnant. We would like to reveal the gender of our new baby. Hi everyone, hold you up here. I know it's Halloween. A lot of cycles out there. Two of your fellow classmates, Billy and Jack, are still missing. Really? Did you put any signs up of your missing dog? It was more important than my two boys. Wondering what's up there. Time to celebrate. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is not a pretty Christmas picture. Why did that thing just move? <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a bridge over a cascading stream. And the children had to cross over this bridge. And under the bridge lived a great battering troll. That's so much fun. That was a fun movie making. We had a good for, time. For a low budget so, movie, it's fun. And so many of our friends were in it. So I love working with friends that I know because when we're not shooting a scene, we're having fun. Uh, and the laughs are tremendous. Hi. So now we're, gonna bring on, movie. now we're going to bring on our next guest. Let's bring him in. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Don't you know it's impolite to point? I'm Don't backstage. <laughs> hey, you know what, too? Fuck, you look like uh, Al Bundy when you did that. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, all right, so everybody, now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, fantastic actor Tom Matthews. Hello, and welcome to the show. I'm so happy to have you on. Glad to be here. Long time to be able to set this thing up, so it's terrific. This is my cool, outrageous man about town co-host Ron Russell. Hello, Russell. Hi, and hi. Uh, we have a chat room full of people, so say hi to everybody in the chat room. Hello, everybody. And then we have one fan who sent me an actual message on Instagram that she can't wait that you're coming on. Her name is Dawn. Just say hi to Dawn because she's Dawn. freaking out. Um, so, yay. So, now where do you actually live? I live in uh, Los Angeles. Oh, you do live in Los I Angeles. Not, I was actually born on Hollywood Boulevard, believe it or not. Me and my two brothers, same doctor, same hospital, right on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, wow. I, so, for some reason, I what, thought you what hospital is on? What hospital is it? Uh, Presbyterian Hospital on Hollywood, the Children's Hospital. Is it still there? I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. I don't know of any hospitals on Hollywood Boulevard. Not that I remember. I like I London. remember Hooker's on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, yeah, on Selma. <laughs> Selma <laughs> Boinga, man. You That's where I live. You know the street, Tom. Yeah. You can get an eight ball and a blowjob for 20 bucks. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you got to like love it. So I want to say, first of all, that uh, I want to bring up a topic that you probably <clears throat> nobody ever asked you because you're in the biggest horror movies ever and everybody like knows who you are. But my favorite TV series in the 80s was Paper Dolls, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, clothing designer. We've had yeah. almost like Morgan Fairchild. We've had like tons of yeah. people, uh, yeah. from Paper Dolls actually on – Let's see, we had uh, we uh, he was friends with Brenda Vaccaro. Um, we had uh, Terry Farrell on. Uh, yeah, I was in it. Yep. Yeah. We had like we had tons of people. my favorite thing ever. She, you were like psycho, and you were like psycho, like psycho. Oh, yeah, John Hink, a John Hinckley type. So what I did for that uh, audition, I went in. I brought a stuffed animal with me. wasn't in the script, and throughout the whole scene, I just kept petting it. <laughs> I, I like love it. You guys, if you guys haven't seen it, I actually, believe it or not, I actually, uh, back in the day, I bought it on DVD where somebody taped it off a of TV. So I actually have the whole series uh, on DVD. Yeah, 13 episodes, yeah. That's I loved it. it. I, I loved it so much. But you guys, it starred Lloyd Bridges, Mimi Rogers, Dak Rambo, Brenda Vaccaro, Lauren Hutton, Morgan Fairchild, Jonathan Frakes, Terry Farrell, Nicholas Sheridan, obviously Tom, and, uh, and John Waite was in it, who was one of my favorite singers back in the yeah. day. Bad great voice, great voice. Um, so, so how was that being in that? And did people like recognize you? Because that was a very popular show for us. It was cool people. for me because you know uh, I started. You know, if you don't have your SAG card as a young actor, you got to get your SAG card. So I started working uh, for Lorimar Productions in the uh, department called Management Services, and they just kind of serviced everybody in the building, took care of everybody, whatever they needed. Th that department took care of it. So. That was on the MGM lot, so Paper Dolls shot on the same lot. So uh, after I got my SAG card from Doris Sabi, she cast me on Falcon Crest because they had Falcon Crest, Knott's Landing, Dallas, uh, uh, Flamingo Road was all of Lorimar's shows at the time. And Doris Sabi right. gave me a walk on, on uh, Falcon Crest. So I got my SAG card. So years later, I went back and filmed Paper Dolls on the lot, so that was kind of cool for me. I like love it. I just like it's the greatest thing ever. And there, you know, there's a movie, Paper Dolls. Also, first there was the movie, and then there was the TV series. And the movie, uh, the Nicolette Sheridan part version, was played by Daryl Hannah, and uh, it was great. I have that on video Darryl, too. Someplace. Daryl Hannah. Oh, I don't know. She's around. Does she work still, Daryl Hannah? I don't know. I'm sure she does. Everybody works. There's so many streaming services and places to see. Yeah, stuff. that's true. Back <laughs> all of it. So, so she's you're very. He's working in Indonesia right now on a streaming thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've not. So what do people most recognize you from? Probably the Return of the Living Dead. It's or? both. You know, I mean, Return <laughs> Return of the Living Dead fans are just just really heartfelt and to the core. I mean, they're a solid base of fans. I mean, I've got tattoos of myself all over the world on people's bodies and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's wild. And then, again, the, the franchise for Friday the 13th, although the franchise is all over the place, uh, Part 6 is a much beloved, uh, uh, you know, show in, in that in that franchise. Actually, we had, see, uh, so you guys, it's it's uh, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. That's we right. Had we had C.J. Graham on about, I don't know, back in October probably we had him on. Yep. Um, and I actually have uh, 
coming on next month. Getting back to Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> I saw the original. No, no, the Return of the Living Dead. Well, not, not, it's not no, the same I'm movie. No, I'm talking. Stop correcting me. This motherfucker always. <laughs> I'm has talking to, here. No, he has to be a director. I don't have a director on this show. It's free for all. I'm gonna kick his ass after the show's over. <laughs> now you made me. Movie. Now you made me forget what I was gonna say. I, I saw the the Night of the Living Dead. Black and white. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Stupid shit. Never saw a zombie. Don't forget. All I saw was Psycho. That was wicked in my day. That was dangerous. Oh. Then I heard yeah. your movie was being made, and I said, oh, shit. They can't come anywhere near it. It's going to be a piece of shit. Surprise I liked your me. movie. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. I liked your movie, Thank Return you. of the Night of the Living Dead. No, Return of the Living That's Dead. Close. Whatever. Go fuck yourself with the, <laughs> with the direction. But Return of the Living oh, Dead is I, more of a comedy. You know what? Though. Can you lend me that? Well, it's a, it's a, I, I, I say it's a dark comedy. Oh, because, dark comedy, right. Dark, yeah. Can you lend me 3000 bucks so I could divorce yes. this brick? Sure. Yes. <laughs> So well, first back of, weekly because we actually had. I used it's to gonna be, take six months if you're in California. You got a divorce. It's gonna take six six months if you file now. Return of the Living Dead too. Also, I used to be really good friends with Michael Kenworth. He was on the show a bunch back in the yeah. day when we were broadcasting out of Florida. So you guys in Return of the Living Dead, you had Clue Gallagher, James Karen, uh, Linnea Quigley's a friend, Beverly Randolph, Don Kalfa. Is how do you pronounce his last name? Kalfa. 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 Um, and you, you and Don basically steal the show, right? Uh, me and uh, oh, Don, yeah. I was with most of my scenes were Jimmy Karen, and uh, it's such a great movie. So people really know you from that, yes. Um, you know, well, I've, I've done 30 movies, but that's what they they reckon. Yes. I, you know, I, I still go to uh, we do conventions, horror conventions all over the world, so I see CJ a lot, you know, the cast of uh. Return of the Living Dead. Twenty uh, next year, twenty twenty five is the forty year reunion of Return of the Living Dead. Oh, so, oh my God, forty years. You know, what I, you know what I found wrong about the movie was it should have been shot in black and white, because that's what was disgusting about the first one was when the, the arm was on fire and they began eating the arm. And black and white is 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 really I find black and white scary. Color is kind of like Disney ish. What do you think? Shouldn't you have shot your movie in black and white? I like the color, but I understand your, your, what you're saying. I know uh, Tom McLaughlin, who shot uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. He has a, I think he has a version where he, he it's in, it's in black and white. Like, so he's, he's, old, he's old school. He's like old school horror. I mean, that opening scene with the, the lightning bolt coming in, that's all from, uh, you know, the old school horror of uh, Frankenstein and, and things like that. Right. You know, I was. I mean, there's, you one should have, I, there's one scene where the background is a Karloff supermarket. I'm in a phone booth talking to the sheriff's daughter. Do you and, have an action figure of yourself behind you? I do. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Yes. So is that, that, that for, for That's freaking awesome. That's Freddy from uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yeah. Is it, That's Freddy. Like it's probably 20 I, inches tall. Getting back to the, the technique, a castle. If you shoot a castle in black and white, it is eerie. Yes. It is scary. Yeah. But if you shoot it in color, it's very beautiful. Let's move in. You know what I mean? It, it yeah. takes a whole yeah. different meaning. So I, I'm, don't forget, I'm, I'm, I'm 83 years old. So I'm from the day of oh, black. You're good. Yeah, I'm from the day of black and white. 83, film. wow. I love I love black and white. Film. Actually, so then you so you besides horror though, because I know you've done. I wrote down all these different films. So the guy we had on uh, before you, uh -huh. uh, Matthias Hughes, he was a uh, kickboxer too, and you're kickboxer four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I love all those like karate movies. Also though, you've got the Peacemaker with George Clooney and Nicole Kidman and Randall Battenkoff. Was Randall Battenkoff in the Peacemaker or in the Living Years? Uh, what's the name? Randall Bancroft, because he's been on our show. Randall was in the Peacemaker. Uh, the Peacemaker. Yeah, okay, because he's been on our show, and then you have in the living years, and we had Mario Van Peoples and uh -huh. on the show. Um, if looks could kill, we had Antonio Sabato Jr. And we're getting oh, ready to do a movie with uh, uh, Lee Ehrenberg. We're actually getting ready to start shooting something in the next probably sixty days with him. Fantastic, uh, which is a lot of fun. In so, LA? Um, we're shooting in Nevada, actually. So, so tell me a little bit. So. Do you um, did you do you like doing horror better? Because you kind you're kind of half and half. No, I like I, I'm a drama guy. So 
you know, I, I mean, I do a lot of comedy and stuff like that, but it, the, the comedy comes out of the writing of it. You know, it's not really slapstick. So that's kind of what I do. Um, I like it because I also know you did a couple of fan fills like Friday the 13th, Vengeance 2, and and actually we had ta- pa- Paul Taylor and Tamara, Tamara Glenn is a good friend of ours, uh-huh. C.J. Graham, Darcy DeMoss. Um, kind of like it's kind of cool that like they're taking all the people from them to do the fan films instead yeah. of putting other people in them. So do you do a lot of conventions with everybody? Yeah, I do. Uh, I've who's got, your uh, I've, who's got, your- I've got probably 10 more this year to do. Who's your convention rep? Different, different. Sometimes the promoters reach out to me directly on oh, Facebook, and then I've got a couple other people who book me as it comes up. Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah, think- Chris, Chris Majors is my my main guy. Good guy, good guy. We're friends. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> well, we're we're friends with my guy. We yeah. know I every- to, CJ and I get booked a lot because you know uh, Jason lives. Right. He does a lot of his own stuff. I just got back from uh, London doing the. London Comic Con uh, a couple of weeks ago. How was that? It was good. It was a good turnout. Uh, hard flight, you know, to get over and get back. Uh, usually we make a trip out of it, my wife and I, but um, not this time. I, I wouldn't bitch about it. It's free and you're getting paid. Fuck, I would do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't give a shit if they sailed me over in a canoe. I would, I would do it. That'd be an adventure for sure. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You know, you yeah. get a lot of money for being there. Plus, they pay all your expenses. I know you're old school, but now they have things called airplanes. You, they actually fly you <laughs> over. Wait a minute. Just so you know. <laughs> my very good friend, my buddy, my my brother, Sean Kanan. Do you know Sean Kanan? No. Soap opera star. He's in the, the Karate Kid. Anyway, he's so big. Dubai. The prince. The fucking prince of Dubai. Sends him and his wife to Dubai right. on the most incredible airplane. I'm sure. You probably they, grew up with them watching. They, they, they got limo service. They yeah. stayed at the palace. They had dinner with the prince of Dubai. I said to him, you mother, why not me? Why you? I was <laughs> love to go. He said, he, said, wait, he said, we'll learn to kickbox. <laughs> I said, at my age, if I kickbox, my leg will come off. <laughs> That's a horror movie, not a kickboxer movie. Right. So I thought how lucky Sean and his wife was. I'm not finished with the story. Now they sent they sent him to Paris with his wife. All expenses paid. Holy shit. Yeah, money's just... no object for some people. But that yeah, it's all nostalgic, you know. People come, you know, whoever come whoever the horror fan, it's all nostalgic what they grew up on and what they like to watch. And it's uh it's it's been a fun ride. You have to say, too, horror fans are the most loyal fans. It's like unbelievable. Did you just, I can't even explain how great and how loyal they are. And they really, yeah, they really don't like you if you don't get chopped up a lot. <laughs> well, I didn't get chopped up. So, you know, I didn't get chopped up. I tell them. I did, I, I did die and return to Living Dead, but came back in part two for some odd reason. But I say, I say, do not chop me up and put blood here. Right. Me. It goes in my hair, and my hair gets pink. I oh, your hair it. looks great. <laughs> no, but I get pink hair from the blood. I'm sure for a couple of weeks until it washes out. Yeah, so I don't get killed. But that's true. If you don't get knocked off, they don't. Uh, yeah. They don't. They don't know you. So, wait, so wait, what's your favorite place? What do you mean, favorite place? Yeah, like where would you like to be right now, other than on our stupid show? <laughs> I'd like to be in. Honestly, I'd like to be in Italy, some some place in Italy. Where? So. In yeah, place. Italy. That's where he's from. I'm Italian. I'm half Italian. Okay. My mom's uh, maiden name is Albanese. Albanese. I've been to Italy several times, and you just you can't get a bad meal. It's just unbelievable, and it's so beautiful. You no, know, it, it's the tomatoes. Whatever the earth. Yeah. Makes, the tomato. I bought. I, I bought tomatoes canned here from Naples. Bullshit! It didn't taste like it. Uh, right. I have, I have family in Italy, and when I go, I see my family. And, you know, they think I eat like 30 years ago. They right. have 100 people at the table and about 99 courses. Oh, come on, some prosciutto, yeah. come on, a little veal, a little, a little. I, yeah. I, I exactly. said, we don't, we don't eat like that. Yeah, no. Home, I eat a little chicken, asparagus, and salad, and a finito. You, you're good uh, to go. But, but what part of Italy do you visit? My, your father was, my father was from Genoa. My mother was born in Hell's Kitchen, New York, Ninth Avenue. 
but her mother came from Venice and her father came from Naples. So I'm all over the map. Gotcha. Which but I love sense. Italy. I told Jimmy, we, yeah. have, we have no time. I hate this business. We're so busy. He is that we don't have time to go, but I'm going to threaten him. Well, you got to make, you got to make time. No, um, I'm, a I'm friend gonna, of mine has a, he makes olive oil and sends me over a, a couple of gallons. Oh, well, that's I mean, nice. I, yeah, I, that's I, nice. I have got to tell you, I will threaten him. I will call people I know in Brooklyn. I will have him killed. You can't have my knees broken. No, my no, knees no. I'm not going to have any. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm going to have you killed. Stop it, Brandy. They're going to kill you. You know, they're going to actually kill you dead. Yeah, right. And then we're going to build a bridge going from Brooklyn to New York. And he's going to be in the, bro the bridge. For sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. If we don't go to Italy. So, so. so I'm married I to him, you know. Did you know that? We're gay. Yeah. We're faggots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married to him. I made a wrong turn somewhere. You look like you're attached at the sh shoulder there. We practically <laughs> we are. are. We, practically we go are. everywhere together. We love each other very much. That's you know, right. we're, we're Randolph Scott and Cary Grant. They had a love that lasted till both of them died. Mr. Blackwell was my best friend, and Richard Blackwell knew them well. Supposedly, rumor was he was in a three-way with them. Well, who knows? <laughs> but Randolph Scott and Cary Grant definitely for six years were living together and they were lovers and they loved each other until they died. You know, just because you're gay doesn't mean you can't love. People think it's weird and queer, but it's not. Don't you love your dog? Don't you kiss your dog? You don't make out with your dog? You have a dog. Well, that, well, well that, that's <laughs> We weird. have three. A lot of people think that bestiality is weird. <laughs> it is weird. I watch. Give me a lips, baby. We have we have six of our own here. Okay, so I, you make out what you do. Wife, my wife rescues dogs, so we have another oh, two, oh, three. All three, all three of ours are rescues. So Sixteen on the property right now. Wow. Good yeah. for you. Good that's for awesome. You. Good for you. You know, that's really like. Oh, I, really I like nice. you more now. I like you more. I'll, I'll buy you a drink when I. So, need what it. are your uh, from all your long history of all the cool things you've done, and also for us, real quick. So, fail safe. I don't know. If, I think that might be the only thing I haven't seen. I don't know if I've seen. Oh, fail you won't. You won't. You won't see it. It was a live TV event for uh, East Coast and West Coast. It was shot live at the time. Oh, but there was. A, it was a movie. What the people though? Look at the fucking people though Wait that were minute. on it. There was a movie in the 1950s called With Henry Fonda. Yep. All hair fail safe. See that? Black and white. There's your black and white too. I, I know the film well, but I, but I don't want people to get. Well, they confused. did. A, he did a live. Shh, shh, shh. I don't want people out there my age to get confused. No, they did a the live. Fund, the fund to fail safe was not Tom's fail safe. What was your fail safe? Was it based on the movie, the older movie? Yeah, same same premise. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It was so, really cool. So you guys, best, by the way, it was a very good movie. Tom's fail safe, you guys. Tom's fail safe. You guys had Walter Cronkite, Richard Dreyfus, Brian Dennehy, Noah Wilde, George Clooney, Hank Azaria, James Cromwell, Sam Elliott, Don Cheadle, Bill Smithovich, Harvey Keitel, and Norman Lyon. Norman Matt Lyon. Adler too. Uh -huh. Matt Adler, the big Matt, Matt Adler. Oh yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah. those are huge people. Harvey Keitel. Harvey Keitel. Yeah. Character was he not a character? He was. He wouldn't die. His his death scene was so long. <laughs> I could hear George yelling, "Die already!" And it was a live, it was a live. TV. I was at a party that he, he was cyanide, you know, because he had to kill himself for some reason. He just he, wouldn't, he took him. I was at a party that he was at in Beverly Hills years, you know, how many years ago? He was young, I guess, starting off. And I said something to him, and I said, "You, I, let me get the story right." I said, "You're Harvey, aren't you Harvey Keitel?" And he said to me. Oh, shit. What was his line? It was so funny. It'll come to me. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. I had it and it went away. Damn it. Anyway. I'm going back 30 years, 40 years ago. Come on. And I was, I had, I had a, a memory then. Uh, what would, I, I, it'll come to me. All right. So we'll let it come back. So how about this? So out of all the different things, do you have a favorite? Like one of the things that was the most fun? It might not be at the best. Yeah, part. you know, uh, I'd have to say Return of the Living Dead was probably my favorite movie experience. And I, it, I, I appreciated it more and more the more projects I was working on. And I just realized how special it was for a couple of things. Um, Dan O'Bannon um, 
the film was a collaboration. So, uh, and what I mean by that, we talked about every scene. I was in a lot of stuff, with, a lot of scenes with James Karen. So he and I worked on every scene together and a lot of stuff was uh, improvised and ad-libbed. And we went to Dan and, and said, uh, if we could, you know, what about this and what about that, which was unusual because he also wrote the script. Um, and he also directed his first time directing. So it was a great movie. We also rehearsed for a couple of weeks before we started principal photography, which no one ever does anymore. Like oh, that, he show. hates that. He oh, can't let's, stand let's that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to stop you right there. You just hit a vein, a nerve. I am, you know what? I was on a movie, first day shooting. I said, where are my marks? They said, you don't have any. I said, I don't have any marks. What do I do? He said, you walk over to the window, pull back the curtain, look, and then open the door. I said, what the fuck are we in, Hawk High School? <laughs> Where's the camera? Up there. I said, oh, I thought that was a security camera. <laughs> no, that's the camera we're shooting with. Oh, okay. I was so unhappy on that film because I felt like I was a, a, a novice. I felt like it was an immature film. I felt like nobody was professional. I'm used to be, listen, I was on a film with Sophia Loren and Tab Hunter, 1959. The cameras were the size of Volkswagens. Yeah. The, cables, <laughs> the cables were like that. The yeah. light, if you went too close to the light, your hair burned. That's I right. Mean, I was used to directors and camera people running around, sound, did a mopping. Come over here, you're sweating. Not now. We were in a friggin' log cabin, not even, what was some shit hole, and a dump. So ask him how he thinks. So, so wait a minute, you've I'm, not, done I'm not done complaining. At my age, we're allowed. Uh, have you ever been in a situation like that where you wanted to go home and go to bed because it was so unprofessional? Yes. Or just get out of there. Horrible. Isn't yes. it horrible? Yes. So you've done both, though, Tell right? Because I see you want to some... talk more about it. I see. Shut some... the fuck up. No, here. let me talk. He's going to give me some dirt. Shut up. He's not going to give you dirt. Go yes, ahead. Yes, he is. Okay, Go ahead. Talk. Uh, Brandy, get off our lights. See, dogs are rescue, girl. She hit the button for our lights. Yeah, all our dogs are rescue. So tell me about your experience that you didn't like. Oh, you know, it's the production. I, I did one probably four or five years ago um, where they rented this convenience store. It was a gas station slash convenience store. I'm behind the counter, and then um, uh, they didn't uh, secure. The guy said, yes, you could film there, but business was going to keep going. So we'd be shooting a scene, and someone would come in the doors and wanted gas or wanted some chips or something, so we had to stop. So that, that was one of the – that was one That's of the, an insult to the actor. That's terrible. Yeah, That's terrible. Okay. To the actor, it was very different though, right? Because back in that, when you did a lot of this stuff in the 80s, that was like big time. Well, yeah, we were on sound stages and 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 for most for most of the part, yeah, which is a freaking like awesome because some of the stuff that you've done, no, so and, and, and you know, Peacemaker was a huge production, it was DreamWorks' first movie, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. We, we saw that though. during COVID, we watched it. Watch. Yeah, that was on uh, location, uh, yes, George Clooney in, yes, in uh, London, France. Yeah, what do you think, Tom? Tom, you have to be honest on our show. We'll get the fuck off. Because we don't play here. What do you think about this woke bullshit in Hollywood? <laughs> he just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you come on, cut it out? What do you think of this woke stuff? I'm, I don't in the, even in the films, the messages they're giving in film. In the woke. Too political. What does woke stand for again? I have no idea. Tell me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe what the fuck? <laughs> w, what? No. In Brooklyn, it's spelled that way in Brooklyn. <laughs> no, I, I think, think it's, I, I hate the woke. He doesn't bullshit. like a lot of the movies that are coming out now. It Some does. of them, like, like know, we had a good one the other day. We watched The Beekeeper, you know, and it was just a good action movie without a message, you know. Right. Like, That's what Jason. Uh, Statham. We so, love that. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's not a movie. It's an adventure because there's no story, there's no dialogue, and there's no acting. It's just everybody beating the shit out of each other and killing each other. That's his favorite, though. Action hero is. No, Jason I find Statham. it. I find yeah. it fun. I like action movies too. 
Well, I like that. J Jason beat up 103 people in the hallway at once. <laughs> and I found that fascinating how they got away with shooting that bullshit. You know, so I, f I find that amusing, not real. So wait a second. Go back. So, wait, okay. I want to ask him a question. Don't ask both questions. I ask intelligent questions, not like you. All you do is brag. <laughs> yeah. um, would you like to play Stanley in Streetcar Named Desire? Uh, I don't think I'm the right type, but yeah, it's a great it's a great role. Why don't you think you're the type? When you were younger, not now necessarily. Uh, maybe in my 30s or 40s, maybe. But he was a lot younger than that, too. James Cairn played uh, the gentleman caller in Streetcar on Broadway. He was opposite me, or I was opposite him in Return of the Living Dead. Right. Oh, that's very cool. That was a, one of the great stories he would tell me because we get we we would sit in the makeup chair, you know, every day, and he would uh, tell me these great Hollywood stories. It was fantastic. I was asked once in an interview, "What is the thing you regret most about your business that you didn't do?" And I said, was play Stanley in uh, Streetcar Named Desire. I would have loved it. When I was young, I could have gotten away with it. Sure. It was good looking and tough. And I could, yeah. Stella, I could do yeah. that. But I, I, I would love, love to have played it. Love to have played it. What would you have loved to play that you missed out on? I, You know what I missed out on? And I met Oliver Stone in Platoon. Oh, wow. Platoon? Platoon? Yeah. Yeah. That's a great what character? Movie. Charlie Sheen part. That's awesome. Oh, Charlie Sheen's part. That's a good yeah. part. I met Oliver over at Lionsgate. He was editing El Salvador. Have you seen that movie with James no. Woods? Fantastic. Uh, he was editing that, and we had an interview. We had a meet and greet, and, and I thought I was going to get that part and broke my heart. James, James Wood turned into a good actor. He got better as he got older. He's a great actor. I like him as an actor. No, a, lot, a lot of actors are that way. I don't know if I got better as I got older. You know what? I got, uh, maybe you can relate to this. We can work about, we can talk about this. The character I play now comes much easier than when I was younger. Do you find that to be? Say again? The character? The character that you play. Yes. Easier now to us ah, yes. than when I was younger. Yeah, I definitely would do stuff differently now than I had done in the past, for sure. Did you beat yourself up like I did when I was younger? I would no, beat not, not at the time. You know, you do the you do the best you can that day, given the circumstances and where you're at with it. Back then, if I didn't like what I did, I got crazy and beat myself up. Now, if I don't like what I did, I say, I don't give a shit. I got paid. <laughs> There you go. So you lose the ability to act as you get older, the want, the desire, that intensity, that I've got to be great. I've got to win. I don't have that anymore. Now, you know what I have? I got to pay. Hold off, fellas. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 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 bucket list, bucket hey. list, male and female actor that you haven't worked with that you would like to work oh with. Oh my God. Wait, wait, the second half of the question is while you're thinking if you could have ever been in any oh. movie ever that's ever been made in history um, and the actor could be living or dead, but any movie ever made in history, uh, what movie would you, you have know, liked? I love, I love the, uh, the Godfather part two, probably one of my <laughs> favorite, favorite movies. I, we've had somebody say that before. So you're yeah. not, one, but that's cool. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great movie, and um, everyone's great in it. And it's one of the sequels that I think is better than the original, which is very hard to do. Yeah, but um, I, I never cared to be in it because I live it. <laughs> I live the Godfather life, so wow. it wouldn't be acting. <laughs> All I do is go back to Brooklyn. And there I am. I'm in the movies. <laughs> so male and female bucket list. <clears throat> actor that you would like to work with that you haven't they could be living or dead uh let's see robert i'd like to work with robert downey jr for sure that would be great i think he's a awesome. great he's turned out to be a great human being yeah fantastic and, um meryl streep would be phenomenal oh, everybody with meryl there are so many actresses it makes everyone better you think she does yeah i think she's it's like uh, playing tennis. You always play with someone better than you to up your game. Do you play tennis? 
I have, but I haven't any, not recently. Pickleball is a new thing. Yeah, I know. I'm a, so I was, I played tennis through college and now I have a bad knee and I can't play, but yeah. I wanted to learn how to play pickleball. Do you play pickleball? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I, I know a couple of people here have courts. Oh, that's it's a lot cool. of fun. Um, you should pick up, you should, too. the bad knee, you should probably take a ping pong then. <laughs> yeah, I could, actually, oh, I used like to be pretty. really good in that too, but I have a friend, Stephen Martinez, but I don't think he goes by. He's like one of the pickleball champions in the like country. I, 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 and he was a big soap opera actor. From I have Hospital. to get personal. I, I'm told I have to get personal. Okay. Children. Okay. Wife. Is your wife in the business? She's not. Well, she was. She used to do, uh, she's a journalist. So oh, she would do the red carpet, interview people on the red carpet. Well, I feel sorry. Well, for junk, when, when they were doing junkets back in the day, she would go and they were sending her wherever. Right. All over the place. Um, and I have, we have three kids. And they are boy, girls, what? Two boys and a girl. How old? My daughter is in Prague right now. She's going to NYU. She's doing a semester in Prague this Good semester. She's uh, 19. My middle son's 22 and my oldest son's 24. Are any do, of them in the business? Yeah, absolutely. Do any of them want to be in my the business? My daughter is taking up photography, so <clears throat> maybe she should become a DP at some point. That's cool. My two sons are, are not. So you have no wannabes in the family? No, and I I wouldn't encourage it, <laughs> especially as a especially child as a child. I would not encourage it. No, I think they you have to discover it on their own anyway. I, yeah. I I have two daughters, and my one daughter became she was like one of these beauty pageants, and she became like a big model. And I said to her, "Why did you quit? You were starting to make money." She said, "If one more person touched my face, I was going to punch them." Sure. <laughs> I can't stand being touched or looked at. Yeah. And she's so beautiful. And the other one was an actress. And I said to her, so how come, Deirdre, you quit? She said, because they're all crazy. You do it. And I said, okay. So my kids don't have a very high opinion of yeah. anything that's other than being normal and average. I love it. Your kids too. I understand the model. I modeled for about two years. After I quit Lorimar, I went did modeling and then I did... I, commercial actor and yeah it was very uh, unfulfilling to say who, that. who did you model for back in the day uh my agent was cunningham and i did an adidas campaign catalogs and um no, no specific brand it's just a bunch of different you know and oh. one-way shows downtown at the california mart how tall um, are you six foot oh yeah so you're a big guy okay. yeah and i'm, I'm I'm off the I'm off the the rack as far as I mean, forty regular. That's a standard yeah. designer size before they go into production. So I've almost yeah, did every size. Everything. I modeled, I modeled for Sears and Roebuck. I did Sears. I did a Sears commercial. I mean, no, Sears. No, 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 I didn't do. A, I was in the book. <laughs> yeah, the catalog. The big the catalog. They yeah, took they, one they picture. The dryer. These are the dryers. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Tom, Tom, Tommy. They took one picture of me, one picture, and colorized it in five different suits. Oh, wow. Yeah. Brown, black, blue, and gray. Right. And I quit. Yeah, I never did it again. It was, I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, and Adidas it, catalog was kind of, kind of cool because we were in Palm Springs for a week, and it was a great, great shoot. When you're a young guy and you're a model, they love to, like, sort of fix your trousers by your crotch for some reason. <laughs> All the faggot guys, all the sissies, the queens. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it because I'm gay. You know, <laughs> if, you say it, if you say it, you get sued or in trouble. <laughs> like black people are allowed to use no, the no, N-word, no, 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 no. okay. but we're not. White people. Correct. This is all bullshit of today. Years ago, we used to say everything and nobody gave a fuck. But today, everybody's so sensitive to everything that... I, like I don't belong in this world anymore. I keep telling Jimmy, I came from another world of freedom. I can't live in this world of, of we've lost our freedom of speech. Well, hang in there. I'm he's, hanging, he's gonna I'm hang, hang, in there. I'm hanging in So there. listen up, you guys. You can follow Tom on Instagram. He's at Tom Matthews, um, but he spells it a little different. It's Tom dot Matthews on Instagram. Oh, Tom dot Matthews, and Matthews only has one T, you guys. Oh, yeah, that's where my father spelled it. What are you going to do? There you go. Uh, so you can follow him on Instagram. He's also uh, Tom Matthews on 
uh, Facebook. Are you on any other social media outlets or no? I, I got an X. Uh, yeah, but I don't really go on it. Yeah, not much. You know, you're more New York than you're L.A. Are you sure you didn't live in New York? <laughs> My mom was from Pennsylvania. Maybe that has some in from scrambling. Mean, we lived there no, for five your, years. Your, your whole demeanor yeah. is New York. Your attitude is New York. And your edges. You Very edge, like You have back. an edge. And that edge only comes from New York. Forget so about it. What are you talking about? <laughs> there you go. Because you could be in my movie. Because in L.A., it's, you know, the dog... And I shot her beaver. If you ever say in Brooklyn, I shot her beaver, they beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and they get away with it here. Oh, it's real neat. I shot her beaver. Uh, when they say that, I cringe. I say, what the fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> Have you lived in LA your whole life? Then? Yeah. I've been in the same 40 mile radius my whole life. Yeah. Same 40 mile radius your whole life. He 40. was born on Hollywood Boulevard. You can't get more LA than that. Graduated from Fairfax High School. Had a, went to summer school. Had, a, had to do a summer school at Hollywood High School. Uh, Fairfax is over by Melrose, and Fairfax right up the street from the world famous Farmers Market, which is now the Grove. And oh yeah, we go to that's Grove right. A lot. My sister went to Hollywood High with Elizabeth Taylor. Back in those days. That's cool. Way back. Way back. Yeah. My mom. My mom went to Immaculate Heart. Immaculate Heart High School. Up on Sunset and uh, Western. Oh, all the way up. Big girls' school, Catholic girls' school. I think Joan Crawford's kid went there. I think. The one that wrote the book. The next book. Oh, yeah, but I know people that know knew Joan Crawford, and they said she was not mean or v vicious. She was just crazy. I like bipolar. Same thing with uh, uh, Ava Gardner. I said to Jane Russell, who knew Ava Gardner well, what was Ava Gardner like? She said, nuts. So there okay. you go. Ava Gardner was nuts. And there Frank Sinatra couldn't get it. Did enough. you have fun like while you were doing all these huge, huge, huge projects? Was it fun for you? Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's good. Do you yeah. love do you I love, love traveling? I love, you know, being on the set. I love working on the characters. Do you love the social life? Or are you just an are you just an actor, or do you so you love? Yeah, them? I'm not. I'm not a. I don't have a lot of friends, but the ones I do have are a couple of friends I've had for forever. I tell Jimmy if I have to go to one more cocktail party and shoot myself, I really am so tired of them nowadays. <laughs> what about you? Just say no. Nowadays, because there's nobody there. That I have to go stuff. to network because I have to find funding for films and and stuff. Oh and yeah. I have to go and so Astro. Stop it. Yeah. Astro. What was that part of it? Um, um, all right. So we've only got like a minute and a half left. So yeah. do you I, have anything I, well, else? Let's say nice about him. He's fabulous. I like you. You're a nice guy. I could be friends with you. Astro, shut the fuck up before I, I, I give you away, to Tom. Never <laughs> happened. Never happened. Oh my God. He's that dog love, like He's the love of my life. Well, all our dogs are big dogs. They're German Shepherds and my, that my wife rescues. We have this so. big dog. We have one big one. Laying but we here. don't have a big enough yard. You must have a big yard if you we can. have a big front yard. I'm almost on an acre. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So they can run around because yeah. we, we Palm Springs, the backyards are like tiny. Oh, my so. sister's in Palm Springs. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, so, so they're there all the time in high school. Our, our big dog, our Brazilian Fila, Mastiff, he's on his way out. He's an old guy now. Yeah. He just sleeps all the time, and we're waiting for him to go. Sure. If that said, she's never seen a Mastiff this age yet. He's they not healthy. He has, they think he has cancer, but he's not in pain. But so he's like 14 years old, and they don't live that long. Yeah, that's old for. And he won't dog. give in. He won't give it right out. His name, His name is Shazam. Shazam. He's a great dog. All our dogs He's are great. Beautiful. We have so anyway, dogs. you guys, listen up. You guys. So do you have a project coming out that we should tell anybody We're about? We're supposed to be doing. Uh, we, uh, John Eisenberg's working on summer, 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 summer something. Uh, the sequel to uh, a movie we did a couple of years ago. Okay. We got really good uh, reviews, and uh, so there's uh, working on that. Not but do you like yet. sequels? I think sequels, they just don't, they, they, you know. Well, I'm in the first one, so it would make sense that they have a sequel. That you're in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, I, I, I'm, I'm in, I, I'm embarrassed to tell the title. We got to go, so hurry up. I'm in uh, Clown Motel 3. <laughs> 
You want to be in it? <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. this is Tom Matthews. Follow him on Instagram at Tom dot Matthews with a one T. Right. Um, watch all his stuff. If you really want to watch something awesome, watch him as the psychopath in Paper Dolls. If you can find it, I think it's on yep. YouTube. Uh, the shit is the, the most awesome show ever. I loved it to, to death. Um, check out also the uh, Return of the Living Dead and Friday the Thirteenth Part Six. Jason lives. Um, and all his other great work. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the show. We wish you all the luck with everything and have a great day. Thanks, You're Jimmy. Hi, you're a good guy. Take care, Ron. Good seeing you guys. Bye bye. bye. You. Thanks, Take everybody. Care. Take care, bye, next week, you guys. bye, everybody. Take bye bye. So can turn out to you. So long. Yeah, we in the mix. Yeah, we in the mix, it's another episode Here we go, the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Interviewing the hottest news that you will send to the celebrities Make sure to subscribe so you can get notified weekly Jimmy Star, he's the king of cool Ron Russell, he's a gorgeous dude Chat room is live and you would be a fool not to vibe with us At the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Come and watch it live on W4CY Radio Missing past episodes, download on iTunes The Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell It's the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell Oh